Stop recording me. I'm AMC Energy. And let's see. We have to literally leave this apartment in 24 hours. We don't have to do anything. We, we literally time. have to. We could do whatever we want. But the plan is the plan is we have we to leave in. Life. We we leave in 24 hours and we haven't packed a single thing. We do have to get back to visit Nothing. family for Thanksgiving, and we do have a time limit when we need to get into storage and get the U-Hauls back. But there's no rules. Let's take Those time. are literally the rules. Let's take time. Those to just Think about this decision we're making. It's a big decision. We already made it. While we're packing, which is the most painful we process ever. We already made it. We already made Man, it. Man, guys, no. You love your dog park friends. You have your friends. Oh my God. We gotta go. We have your grandmother here. And the day of reckoning has come. Lauren, are you gonna cry? Man. No, I'm not gonna cry. Hi. So I'll let you guys know what's up, what's going on right now. So this has been my home, my humble abode for the last two and a half years. A really epic time of my life where I have discovered a lot of things about myself, grown, matured, ups and downs. Max has lived here for a couple years. Dave has lived here for a couple years. Our like, I, I, build friendships. I. Okay, build friendships, build businesses, gotten stronger, met people, had people sleep on my couch. Every one of my bestest friends has come and visited me, slept here right on this couch. <laughs> like I've, I don't know. I'm so emotional today. I, I hate moving. I hate transitions I hate goodbyes I don't even like really believe in goodbyes I'm more like see you soon love you see you soon because I always make time and energy to see my family and my friends no matter where I live in this world always done that and I truly believe in that but today is the day of reckoning I have to pack up all my stuff I've been doing a lot of uh, work over the last couple weeks to pare down all the stuff that we have I've been poshmarking all the clothes that I don't need. I've donated like probably five or six bags the other day. My uh, assistant Kelly came over and helped me sort everything, get things organized, get things ready so they'd be le like the least amount of painful as possible, but I'm freaking the hell out, I'm freaking out. Look wait, guys. Why, why don't you tell them, wait, wait, why look, don't you tell them? Look, what the hell? Okay, I just stepped on a, bit on a right. what the hell? What is that? The biggest truck is ours. Just kidding, that's not ours. Ours is a little tiny ass U-Haul over there. But seriously guys, oh! I don't wanna do this at all. He's making me, it's all his fault. It's all his fault. That's no! not even remotely true. It's completely 100% true. That's not even true. It's his fault. LA, I'm coming back for you. Love you guys. You haul key. It's getting real, guys. It's getting real. This is the hallway I walk down every day. This is the sidewalk I walk down every day. Does anyone else absolutely hate moving day? Like, I have no desire to pack up any boxes, put anything into this U haul over here. Anything whatsoever. I have no desire to say goodbye to anyone. Every single person I say goodbye to, I was like, hey girl, see you soon. I'm coming back real soon. Please stop, don't stop the invites. Invite me out. I'll literally jump on a flight, a 40 minute flight, come visit every one of my friends. I love them all to death. They've been amazing. They've been amazing, they're still amazing. And I told all of them, and keep the invites coming. I'll be back soon. I low key even think I might come back to stay. So this is just temporary. Dave's way more excited about moving than I am. Way, way, way more excited, AKA happy than I am. He doesn't even know I'm saying this right now. <laughs> but yeah, so I have to help him load up the truck. We're gonna start with like the motorcycle and the couch and a couple things. We actually don't have that much to pack up at all, which is really nice. It's not really that stressful in terms of like things to put in there, but it is more like emo, like I'm super emo right now having all the feels in the world. Like all I wanna do right now is just like, this tree, I'm gonna miss this tree. I'm gonna miss like, 
I'm gonna miss this tree. And I'm gonna miss like this grass. This is the grass Max pees on every day. This grass right here. No! This street. This sun. Oh, my panini cafe. My resort gym. My best friends coming into town doing nails together. Like look how ratchet my nails are. Oh, nails by myself? What? What is that? I don't know if you can hear that, guys. That's Dave. Right there. Coming around to bring his Ducati onto the bike. I'll move out of the way. So that's the first thing we're gonna put into the U-Haul. All right, so that's the first thing we're gonna put into the U-Haul, the bike. First thing they gotta go. Okay, make sure we don't smash it. It's very important, precious little, we love her. She's coming with us, we love her. All right, it's getting really real. No, this, what you know, What did I call this? This right here, guys, we call our suitcases a box of depression because Max gets sad when he sees them come out. And I decided to call this thing a giant box of depression on wheels. It's gonna make me sad, so sad. involving a moving truck has been devastatingly anxious and sad. Does anyone not have like crushing feelings of emotions around these objects right here? Box of depression on wheels. Go, go, go. Oh boy. Be careful. That was sketchy. First things first, we got the precious Petra into the, into the, what do you call this box? Okay, all right, we got it in. All right guys, so just a little progress update. Um, we've been working on this for about an hour and a half. How long? An hour. And we've uh, moved all of one thing into the moving truck. <laughs> okay, here's the issue. Dave likes, he's like OCD central. He needs everything to be how he wants it to be. So I keep trying to take apart the couch. He said, no, we can't do that yet. I tried to put something, a box into the U-Haul. He goes, no, that doesn't go there yet. I've been unsuccessful at moving anything into the truck. We're not packed. We have to pack stuff before we move into the truck. He won't let me put anything in the truck. No. So he... I swear to God, you're, you're giving me anxiety right now. You're how many things did you let me put into the truck? There's not. It has to be boxed up first. This is what you get when you have an OCD person that needs to control. Lauren's like, mm, couch will go in. No, I'm know. like, should I take apart the biggest thing possible and, and put it into the things? Because you, if you put it in last, then you can't fit it in. So you put the biggest things in but first. But it's not last. It's going to be the second thing that goes in. It's going to be the second thing that goes in. So updates. We are still packing. We actually have some boxes out. Max, come here. And I am packing my bag to New York because I'm visiting family and friends in the city and in Connecticut. So packing that first and then we have a bunch of boxes. But the issue is Max always gets super sad when he sees suitcases. I have dubbed them the boxes of depression because this little guy always gets sad when he sees the suitcases. Right, Max? You don't like suitcases? So I have to keep cuddling him extra hard and reminding him everything's okay because he does not like suitcases life. All right guys, so it is now, what are you doing? There's no music. There's no music? Why did you turn off the music? Put down your, put down your okay. shirt. Guys, I'm super organized. My assistant Kelly has taught me so many OCD things that this moving process is actually kind of like awesome. Um, I'm actually going to be packed before Davis. Imagine that. That's definitely not true. Thanks, but we Kelly. we have been packing for the last six hours, and it's pretty much exactly how you guys saw it last. We just have more boxes everywhere. Boxes on boxes on boxes. Boxes on boxes on boxes. But look at my closet. Look at my closet. Who's who's done first? I have a question. I have a question. Um, what's that? 
I loaded a Looks motor. Looks like s- somebody's not on their uh, packing game. You need to calm down. I packed somebody's everything else. Somebody's not on their OCD game. There's some random shit on the floor. No, it's organized in piles. Calm down. But we are donating a ton of stuff to the homeless. We are donating a ton of stuff to the homeless or to Goodwill or wherever we can think of. We're not going to get rid of this food. This is good food for somebody, so. Yep. Life status update is 1 a.m. We have we made some progress. We have more boxes. Have boxes. We have Wait more a second. Babe, babe, babe. What does that label say? Um, don't worry about that. That's um, hygienic products, you know, for when things, you know, get a little crazy. Wow. Um, anyways, we have everything else packed. We got our med box, we got our subs box, everything's organized, it's OCD to the max, and uh, we're cleaning the house. It's gonna happen tomorrow. All right, so now we're gonna go donate some stuff at one in the morning. I found some old suitcases. Yeah. I'll give those to the homeless, we're some actually, bottles, yeah, food. Because they actually like carrying stuff around uh, in, on a wheelie thing, so that'd be perfect. It's called the suitcase? Yeah, but I mean, they like to carry their stuff around, so. And we're also going to give away all these snacks. You know, there's no reason to not put them to good use. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Day two of packing. As you can tell, we've actually made some progress here. Um, I'm actually really, really proud of my packing skills. Just every time I've ever moved, I hate when you have just like a ton of boxes. You don't even know which room to put it in. You don't know what's inside of it. If it says kitchen, I mean, the whole kitchen has like 12, 14 cabinets. So if you could at least write dishes, knives, pots, pans. So I made sure to write like everything. This one has knives in it. That's fragile dishes, fragile. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty proud of my, my OCD packing skills. I don't tend to be OCD with anything else, but you know what? It's kind of fun. I'm kind of enjoying it. Let's see what Dave's doing. Oh, and also, I keep, <laughs> me and Dave have different types of OCD, so like for instance, I thought shaker bottles, you should like pack it with its like little shaker blender thingy-majig, and every time I put it in there, he takes it out. <laughs> so I'm not sure if he's going to take that out again, or unpack the things I pack and then pack them the way he wants. Yesterday, he wanted to pack the moving truck exactly how he wanted to pack it. So I kept trying to bring things downstairs and help get it filled up and he's like, don't put anything in the truck. I have to pack it the way I'm gonna pack it. Okay, all right. Let's see if Dave, what Dave's doing in here. How's it coming? Let's see, I don't see any boxes in here. It's, it's coming, there's a box right there. Oh, there's a box. There is a box. See how well it's packed? It's perfectly packed. Let's check it out. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Right. Tax paperwork. Oh, okay. Can't mess that up. Any thoughts of the day or of packing or moving? I'm sweaty. I'm hungry. Why don't we go eat? Yeah, let's go eat. We have to hit the road with five hours and not, the truck's not even loaded. Yeah, maybe we should put some furniture into the truck first. Yeah. It looks messier than it did before. And I know I'm making progress, but it doesn't feel like I'm making progress. Okay, how do you guys do this? How do people do this? Is there anyone that actually enjoys doing this? Is the question. Well, here's the update. About seven hours later, it's fully loaded, including even the Audi is fully loaded. Here's Dave taking the curtains. He's like, you can't have my curtains. You can't have my light bulbs. <laughs> he legitimately swapped back out the light bulbs because of the halogen lights. The LED lights. LED lights. You got to take the LEDs. You got to take you. But the party goes wherever you go. I'm literally about to take a nap with this blanket. Really? Yeah. I have, so I'm the exact about. opposite. I like, have, I mean, I could not sleep to save my life. I don't even know if I'll sleep tonight because of all this. Moving is stressful AF, but we did it. Yeah. We did it, Kelly helped us. Yay. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> mm. What's that, Dave? 
We haven't moved yet. All we did is pack. We haven't moved, but everything's down to like one, one lone bag. One lone bag. Any last thoughts on the place you've lived in the last two and a half years? I'm not in the mood to vlog. But it's a vlog. This is real life. This is me in real life. He's happy. I've been nonstop over since one. So five and a half hours of moving stuff. Um, and I still have a six hour drive and a giant over We don't have to. We could actually just stay at a hotel tonight and drive tomorrow if you really wanted to. Yeah. It's actually not six and a half hours. It's Vegas, it's four and a half, but. Flippy, flippy camera, okay. <laughs> wow, Dave, <laughs> wow. Trying to lighten the mood. Okay, all right, well, peace you out. Like, oh yeah, look. Oh, you mean the empty bottle of tequila? There was literally one shot of tequila. Well, why didn't you take it? You should have taken a couple shots before you started this moving day. <laughs> that would have helped out our entire lives. We haven't went over that. I should have given you shots the Look moment you woke up. <laughs> like, no drink November <laughs> has been drink every day November. Okay, so we just discovered we have this bottle of wine we want to celebrate with, and uh, we don't we don't have a bottle opener except Kelly somehow mysteriously has one in her car right now in her console. I don't know why or how it got there. In in moments like this, in in moments like in moments like this, she comes through. I think we need to. Okay. I think we need to get it right now. Get it. Now. Get it. Like ASAP. Okay. What's up? Day two of moving. Made it to Vegas. Made it to the storage unit. Car, roof rack. Getting all the stuff out of the U-Haul. Letting the boys take care of the action. They got the muscles, lift heavy stuff. So yeah, we gotta un unload all the stuff out of there. All the boxes. I just gotta make sure we keep it organized so that all the stuff we need to get to first and easiest is on the outside. So and make sure we don't put anything on the deep, the deep part of the box. So, all right. Are you doing all the organization of this right now? Yeah. Okay. Thank God I um, labeled everything accurately. your I'm actually really impressed with the way I kept everything organized. But the one thing I was thinking is we need um, definitely all the suitcases on the outside, the Theragun things on the yeah, outside, yeah. So first, and all the bike stuff. I have, I have a plan. You have she a plan. Up, she shows up, she's like, I think it's, the plan is offload everything, load in all the big stuff, like mattress, bed, and furniture, then the boxes so we can get to the boxes. Okay. And make sure the butt sex stuff is on the outside. But make sure, hey, make sure you don't break a nail or sweat doing vlogging. I labeled the box butt Just, sex. Yeah, but that's the number one box. Number one box. That's the number one box. Do not, it's fragile, so if you could please make sure that you don't drop it. I promise you that butt stuff is not fragile. <laughs> Can you guys get back to work, please? You just found your fun box. Um, be careful with that. Fragile. Wow. Oh. Don't drop that. What does it say? Dildo close. Dildo close. Is that <laughs> what, what does like, that even do you mean? Like, I think you dress it up. Like, like, what the so fuck? We, do we have a dildo we decorate? Like, yeah. we I mean. It like big ones, so, uh, <laughs> 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 it smells <laughs> funny. This box smells funny. What? what? No, it does not. Okay. It smells your beautiful. It smells <laughs> pretty. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I wonder you're <gasps> funny. Be careful. Leave that on the outside. We did that in literally like less than like, how, how long do you think that just took? How long did that take? 20 minutes? 20, 25 minutes. Um, when you lift, ain't no problem moving no. stuff around. I don't even know why you were stressing. Huh? When you have friends that lift, you're good. Well, Plus our shit's not bad. And when your friends are Hispanic, it's perfect. They That's know what, so they know what they're doing. So racist. He's Cuban. Are you actually mad at me, Alex? He's I'm Cuban. Latino. It's He's same Latino, thing. though. Same thing. Good for a lot of things. Okay, I just realized something right now. This is Dave's motorcycle. This is Alex. This is the motorcycle Alex just brought over. Are you guys freaking twins? What is? This? I think you guys need to like 
drive around together so you're really twinned out. It's a little cold. Yeah. So there we go, and just like that, moved everything into the storage units. Actually, fits like a glove in there. Dave was very particular about how things were arranged, but look, check it out. You could read all the labels, you can get to everything easily. There's a walkway right here. Very nice, organized. There's even room for the bike to fit in there if we need it. That was so, I feel like so much weight lifted off my shoulders now that we finally got all this stuff here into the storage unit, out of the U-Haul, and our friends helped us so quickly. It was amazing, feeling much better. Okay guys, so we just arrived at the humble abode, our neighborhood in Vegas. And uh, we're just loading up the cars, all the stuff from the cars inside the house. We have over 10 places to sleep, I think four bedrooms, including the master bath, um, a pool, Max is already in the backyard exploring. Um, it's just great to finally live in like multiple bedrooms, a neighborhood, have a garage, have a backyard. And uh, I don't know, it feels real. So, oh my gosh, check it out. Look at the background. The mountains are so pretty. I don't know if you could see that. So stinking beautiful. And the weather is amazing. So I'm actually really excited. It's beautiful here. It's quiet, it's chill. It feels just like fresh and new. Starting a new journey, a new phase. So yeah, super excited. If you want, I'll give you guys a little tour. You got like his chill where the cooking will never take place, where the meal prep food will come into. We got the uh, living room fireplace. Behind me, we have the lovely kitchen at dining room, game room situation with eight seats. We have the backyard pool, doggy paradise. Yeah. You have the camera. Oh yeah, I was just gonna show him a little bit. I, I literally cannot see anything. So I don't know if you, camera? yeah, but I think this is, I mean, I already talked on this one, so this should be good. And uh, yeah, fresh start, new days, new adventures, new friendships, new business situations, who knows? But yeah, here's Max's little doggy situation. Oh, look, he's making himself right at home. <laughs> Max. And essential to any Instagram, YouTuber, social media person is the lighting of the house and the situation. The lighting in the kitchen, it's actually not that bad. Uh, this right here, guys, is my new uh, sports bra line for my new collection that's coming, coming soon. I'll give you guys some uh, details on that, but I have a bunch of different colors. And uh, I don't think I could see it, but I'll have Dave come over here and show you the back. It's really cute, too. But I have matching tops for every single color. I have scrunch booty, I have non-scrunch booty. The, uh, the fabric here is absolutely comfortable and amazing, super supportive, super stretchy, on the go, amazing, so you will love, so stay tuned. So there's downstairs, going into the upstairs. Let's check it out, huh? See what we got here. The humble Vegas party home abode. We have a couple of beds there, and some friends to crash over. New Year's plans, party, party time. Another bedroom. A nice little bathroom. His and her sinks. We got another, ooh, some single friends coming over to the night. And bedroom. Best friends to come over for New Year's. So we're in Vegas, we could do a Vegas New Year's. My birthday. I'll be 33 years young. So yeah, that's it.